Shalom, all praises be unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakwadash, Tamiya double honors unto the apostles, and the bishop elders at Great Millstone, who are well and salutes unto the Akim, who continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. And um, indeed, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the name of his son is Yahweh Shai. And um, we've been big on that, and we'll continue to be big on that um, um, to the very end, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and um, yeah, pretty much the title of this one is 2022, you know, and you're still calling on Jesus Christ, man, like, that's crazy, you know, Jesus, Jesus doesn't mean anything, you know, um, and pretty much it just carries a demonic vibration, which is Jake for the most part, I thought, um, carries weight or holds weight. Jesus, it says here, is a masculine given name derived from Iesus. Iesus in classical Latin, the ancient Greek form of the Hebrew and Aramaic name Yeshua or Yeshua in Hebrew, as its roots lie in the name Yeshua, it is eta logically related to another biblical name joshua okay um and pretty much when you get into it the letter j came around around five just over 500 years ago okay so back then when the lord was on the scene man the fun the, the actual phonetics like phonetics is sounding out words all right you know what let me um Pull that up. Uh, what is phonetics? A method of teaching people to read by correctly by correct by correlating. So like you uh, need to work on my phonetics. <laughs> A method of teaching people to read by correlating sounds with symbols in an alphabetic written writing system. Okay. So ah ba ga da, you know, that's 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 Hebrew. Um, you got that, you know, you do the same thing in in, in English. You got alphabet, which is aleph by of, you know, um, you know, ah, we teach babies ah ba ka, da, eh, f, a b c d e f. The basics of how to basically hold your mouth and pronounce particular uh, sounds, right? So pronouncing the J sound in the ancient world would have been hard. And the foreign, nobody knew of that, man. It was J. That, 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 that phonetic didn't exist. Okay, so nobody was running around five, um, 2,000 years ago calling on jesus man okay that's just bugged out man and it says here um in classical latin in the greek form of the hebrew and aramaic name and pretty much aramaic is just a a posh version of hebrew um if you're more well to do you'd speak aramaic is a regular person you speak Hebrew, but it's 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 this it's the same thing, it's just a more posh version of Hebrew, as it were. The last one Kwadash man. This is related names Isa. See that's in Arabic. Again, Arabic is a sister language of of, of Lashwan Kwadash of Hebrew. A lot of the words are the same or very similar, you know. In Hebrew, we'd say ark or ark for brother. In um, Arabic, is achi. You know, we would say um, shalom for peace, you know, greeting or whatever. They would say um, um, salam, you know, um, you know, they would say Aisha, we'd say Ayasha. You know, a woman or wife or, you know, um, a 
lot of things, man, quite similar. But they, they, their rendition of it is, they would say Risa. Okay, yeah, it says Isa, but when you get into Arabic, it would really be Risa. All right? Um, in the English, it's translated as Joshua. You see, Christians, we don't expect them to get the truth, man. You know, because the Lord ain't dealing with that avenue of mainstream Christianity. But I would respect a Christian more if they said, listen, my Lord and Savior Joshua. You know, my Lord and Savior Joshua is way more accurate. I mean, it's still got J in it, but at least you can make sense of the the, the, the last half of it, Sh Shua, you know, which goes back to, as they would say, in another rendition is Yehoshua, you know. Um, Hoshea, Hoshua, which really goes back to the Hebrew correct pronunciation, Hawashai. The whole shua, there's no uh, u sound in the Hebrew. You know, a um, yeah, the u sound is you know it's the rain, the ein, okay, the ein sound. So it would be yahawash, uh, yahawashai. But we're not even dealing with the yah bit yet. We're just dealing with the the, the, the second part of the name. You know, they got the pro prophet Hosea is hawashai. All right. So Joshua, make, even though the J doesn't exist, Joshua makes more sense than Jesus. And you got here, Yeshua. It's not Yeshua, it's Yahawashai. Yashu. Okay. See, the etymology, modern ling linguistic analysis, the modern linguistic analysis of the name Yehoshua is, is Yahweh, is lordly. And that's even off. Okay. It's Yah, which means he and Hoshua, as I said, just goes back to the word Hawashai. That's the correct, correct pronunciation, which means he is salvation. Okay. All right. The historical change may have been due to phonet phono phonological shift whereby guttural uh, phonemes weaken including usually the traditional the uh, theo theohoric element yahoo was shortened at the beginning of a name to yo yeah that's speaking about that yiddish man you know yahoo yo they, they say you know yo yoel for joel you know See, if you really get into it, it gets into, like, Germanic influences, man. You know? Okay. But they're basically saying the name Jesus goes back to Yeshua. Okay. But Jesus itself doesn't mean anything. What does jerk mean and what does sus mean? You know? It's crazy, man. <laughs> All right. Now, um, I saw the... If I, you know, if I copy that, right? Open up a new tab and put that in. Let's see what comes up here. Ah, uh, you see, <laughs> I put in that's that's in the Assyrian script. That's the name Yahushai, and what did it put up? It put it put Joshua. I didn't put Jesus. How about that? Okay. You, like Christian, that shows that they're under a demonic spell. You put the the Assyrian script for the Lord's name, all right, in, and it come it doesn't come up with Jesus. So Jesus is 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 not a relatable name. Jesus is not a relatable name, man. Come on. It says Joshua or Yehoshua, which is really Yahushai. Okay. You put that name in, and 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 Joshua comes up, bro. Joshua, man, your your Joshua, which I have to keep stressing, is close. What the correct pronunciation, when you get into Hebrew uh, grammatics, it would be a Hawashai. Hmm. 
Nothing here says Jesus, man. So, so where did you get that from? Where did, you, where, where did Jesus come from, man? Is it none other name on the name under heaven, man? Yeah. Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So, you're not going to get saved. You know, you've got people that say, yeah, well... You know, what about the Christians who sincerely believe and call on Jesus? You're not going to get saved by the name of Jesus Christ. You're not going to get... You ain't going to get saved by the name of Jesus. You ain't going to get saved by the name of Yeshua, um, Yehoshua, Yahusha. Look, the name of salvation is Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shireman. The scriptures say there's none other name. You know, oh, I don't like Yahweh Shai, the way it sounds. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's your business, man. All right. We believe through faith. That's the correct pronunciation. Okay. Yahweh Shai, man. He is salvation. He the deliverer. Um, is, it in, um, is it in Zephaniah, I believe? I believe it's Zephaniah, man. Uh, let me see something. Um. Zephaniah 3 and 9. For then when I turn to the people of pure language, um, lush one to her, you know, pure language. Um, to her meaning pure, lush one meaning tongue. Or lush one kodash, the holy tongue. That they may call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. So you can't be calling on Yahuwah, then another person calling on Yahweh, another person calling on Jehovah. There's another person calling on um, whatever, man. The name of the Lord is Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, to serve him with one consent, man. So we believe the language has been restored and taught. The pure language, the Lashua and Kodash, the Paleo-Hebrew, man. You know, and if you can't accept it or receive it in the spirit, that's between you and the Mosai, unfortunately, man. You know, but um, we're going to teach that the correct name is Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. And that's it, man. You know. But the name Jesus is just not relatable, man. If in 2022, you still calling on Jesus, man. you got issues, man. Shalom.